the destructive force of the meteor was as dramatic as these hastily shot pictures of its entry into Earth's atmosphere. It broke the sound barrier over Russia's Ural Mountains, causing a shockwave with the power to send the repair bill into tens of millions of dollars. Now the search is on for fragments left from the 17-meter-wide rock, or what's left of it. Scientists have confirmed these tiny pieces are from space. What they're less certain of is how to warn people if or when another meteor is on its way. You first need to calculate from what distance you want to see a dangerous object. At present, we consider an acceptable distance to be 5 million kilometers, or at least 1 million. In that case, you would be a few days ahead. You would be able to calculate the trajectory, issue a warning for a city, and perhaps prepare a future anti-asteroid missile. We don't have them so far, nobody knows how to build one, and only a few people are thinking about it. How many telescopes do we need? That depends on the field of view. It is now possible to build telescopes of 4 to 8 square degrees. We need 10 to 20 telescopes around the Earth, dozens of them. While the scientists work on that problem, treasure hunters are in the Urals hunting for more bits of space debris. Little wonder when these confirmed remains could fetch a meteoric $2,000 a gram at least, which means that the splinters left by this blazing ball of light are worth more than 40 times the value of gold. Richard Martin, Al Jazeera.